Hi, I'm Mike Rooney. Today's free art lesson is going to be on broken color. Broken color is a way that you can take a large shape, you know, and let's say you're, you're doing this big painting and there's lots of sky. You know, you got a really high sky, a low horizon line, and there's just t tons of this blue. It's a way to break it up, keep it interesting. It's in the tradition of the Impressionist because it's broken color. Uh, I'm sure that they tonalist did it and all that before too, but it really, really works good for mixing colors and letting the eye do most of the mixing, which is what the Impressionists really were after, was to let the eye do most of the mixing. A lot of people want to mix it down here and put it on like they're painting a wall, but this is not a good way to do it. It makes the it makes the surface look flat. It doesn't look deep. It doesn't look like reality. Because in reality, if you go outside and you look up, that sky is not just one color of blue. It's like 14 colors of blue. So you want to kind of mimic that confusion, if you, if you, if you will, uh, that nature presents. You don't look at a canopy of trees and see one green. There's all these greens in there. Now, of course, you know, you're standing out there, you've got an hour and a half to paint it. You don't have time to put 14 greens in there. But the more you can do, quickly the better it is. So I want to show you a little technique that I've come up with uh, for broken color. And of course nobody ever comes up with anything on their own. When I say I came up with it, I'm sure I stole it from somebody. But anyway, it's a way that you can do it uh, and, and do it quickly, okay? And I use it all the time. So here, here's what you do. Let's say, let's just take blue because everybody knows blue and it's an easy one to do. Uh, let's say you've got this big sky, right? And, you know, here's the panel. Let's just do a little, a little panel of it. And I'll do it up here instead of down here uh, to show you. But let's make a broken panel that's going to be blue. And maybe we'll have another one. We'll do another color if we got time. So let's just say, you know, the old way that you used to do it, you took some ultramarine blue, you mixed around some white, and you came up with a nice medium value. So let's lighten it up just a little bit. And I'll show you the way I used to do it. I'm sure you don't do it this way. You probably do it the, the very complicated, suave way. But I used to just do it really plain. I just paint it on like a wall, like 90% of everybody else. And I would pretty much leave it like that. Now, if I was feeling especially creative that day, I might actually put a little bit of light blue in the top of it if I was being... Boy, I say, look how great of a painter I am right there. Now, I've got blue and I've got light blue. I'm going to show you a way that looks even better than that. So let's just make it all one color right now. So let's make it all like we painted it on with a roller. And there's no broken color at all. Now, the more I can get it very uniform, the better the lesson's going to be. So let's go ahead and make that light blue. Now, here's the key. Here's the system. And I'll do it up here. Let's mix it all up here. Let's take the white. All right. Let's take lots of white. And let's take the blue and make what I call the mother pile, the home pile. Okay. So that's basically the home pile. Now I've got to do this so it doesn't fall off. <laughs> so I'm going to do it like that. It's a little bit darker, isn't it? So let's darken it up just a little bit. And that's your home pile. That's what you would have just painted up here before you watch this free art lesson. So there you go. Now what you do is you take this pile and you break it off into satellite piles. So let's take that and put it, push it off over here and make a satellite pile. Let's take this one over here and move it up here and make a satellite pile. Let's take the rest of it and move it down here. Now it's not good to take all of it. Let's take a little from each one. You want to still keep that up there. So I want a little bit up there. So there's three satellite piles. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of some other colors down here to these satellite piles and apply it up here in a broken way. I'm going to let it skip and jump and do all kinds of stuff. So basically in my mind, a good way to, to think about it is I'm going to warm this one up. I'm going to add, uh, I might cool this one down. Uh, color's all about temperature. You know, of course, the blues and the greens are cooler. The yellows, reds, and oranges are warmer. So let's, first of all, let's warm it up. So uh, what, what would happen if we added some yellow to that? Now, a lot of people use turquoise. Like, well, a lot of people don't use turquoise. I use turquoise, but it's basically viridian and white with a little blue in it. 
So I don't have any viridian out right now, but I can take a little bit of yellow. Watch what happens. I'm going to take a little bit of yellow, and I'm going to take a little bit of white, and I'm just going to warm up that blue just a little bit. Now here's the key. You can't make this color, you can't make this satellite different in value than this one. This one, when you squint or look through a red piece of plastic or whatever, has to be the same value as this. In other words, you couldn't do this. You couldn't take, this one wouldn't work. You couldn't take the blue. Let's say it, it started out blue. You couldn't take uh, yellow ochre and do this to it because it doesn't even match. It's not even close. It's not even close. You take a little bit of something and you change it. And when you put it on here, you should not be able to see a difference. Like, I know you can't see that on the camera. But when you squint, I can't see it up here either. So that means it's very close to this one. It's a, it's a warmer blue. So I take this, scrape it all off, and I apply it in a broken way. Now see how I'm doing it with the knife? I'm not trying to cover. I'm not doing it like a wall. I'm not painting a wall up here. I'm doing what's called broken color. I want to still see bits of that blue coming through. So now there's a warmer blue right there. Now I'm going to take this one and I'm going to warm it up with some red or some um, magenta would be nice. Watch what happens when I put some magenta in it. Now you see if I put too much magenta, the value is too different. So I've got to add magenta and a little bit of white, which makes what? Pink. Now watch this. I want this value to be the same as that. And I don't want it to be too far from that. Because if I put too much magenta, watch what happens. It looks red. It doesn't look blue. So it has to look blue, but it has a little more red. Now I'm verging on going red here, aren't I? So I've got to put a little bit more blue back in it. Let's keep it blue. It has to be blue, but it wants to be a purple. It wants to be a kind of a lavender, doesn't it? Now watch this. Oh, that's beautiful right there. I want to keep that. So I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to do the same thing. Oops, kind of lost that magenta look to it, didn't I? There we go. Now look, I'm putting it in holes. I'm applying it in broken color. Ooh, look at that. See, that's why I paint. I'm getting goosebumps up here. When that stuff like that happens, when you do something in it and it looks good up here, that's the exciting part of painting. That's why we do what we do. I'm sure some computer nerd gets excited when he comes up with some code or something. I don't know, but this is, this is exciting to a painter right here. When you get this broken color starting to, starting to look real interesting. Now imagine a sky that had that in there. So that's pretty neat. You can keep this uh, concept of satellites going. Let's take um, what happens if we took a little bit of red. Now watch. I have added magenta the first time. Now I'm going to add cad red. Just a little bit of cad red. And look how, when you add cad red, how it looks different than when you added magenta. It has a slightly duller look. It's not quite as pink or lavender as that other one. There we go. Now look at that. Now you won't know the difference until I put it up there. Watch what happens when I put it up there. It's a little grayer, isn't it? It has a little bit grayer aspect. Now when you squint, that whole thing makes a color, but it's actually four or five colors. So it's a great way to liven up the blue, okay? And you could do that with red or orange or any of these other colors. You could do it with brick. I'll just do a real quick one. Let's say we were doing brick, because that would look neat. A lot of people do a brick wall. They just paint the whole thing the same. Let's do a little brick wall. You take some red and let's put some uh, green in it. All right, so let's say that's the, that's the big pile, the mother pile. I call it the big mother pile. We'll put that down. Now watch. That's brown, right? Most people, or before you saw this lesson, you would just put that brown down and then for a barn or whatever, and then you'd roll on to something else. Take that and add a little yellow ochre to it. Watch what happens if I add a little bit of yellow ochre to it. I'm going to warm it up just a skosh, and I'm going to lighten it just a skosh. And look at that. Then I can take some orange. I can put a little orange. You just got to make sure that whatever you do, it's the same value. So let's take a little purple. Take a little purple is going to cool it off, isn't it? Taking purple is, is going to cool it off just a bit. I don't want to get it too dark. Just that little difference. See that little, it's just a little bit darker than the other one, than the first one. Look at that broken color. Oh my gosh. 
That's so much more interesting to look at than just painting a wall. So I hope you start using broken color on your big shapes. It'll really add interest, and it's like a magician's trick. It's easy to do, but it looks really complicated. I uh, hope you enjoyed that art lesson. Um, if you want to see more on me, please go to mikerooneystudios.blogspot.com.